one. So hope you are not hungry yet. Bear with me a bit, a bit more. Uh, so I'm going to talk about learning about supervisors using Phoenix Live View, and a little bit about me because, well, I, it is my first time speaking in like Codebeam ever. So I, I'm from Vietnam, and uh, I moved to Sweden. I don't know, 13 years ago, and I. I finished high school and then I went to university here in um, Sweden, in Gothenburg University, and that was my first time introduced to Erlang. And I like it at the first like lesson or like when I start doing some exercise, like, there are classmates that was, you know, devastating, like, oh, it's so difficult. But for me, I somehow I like it, and I was lucky enough to start my career with Erlang, and um, then I. Um, I got like my kept, you know, a lot of dream job like in Erlang Solutions, um, working as a software developer. And I started learning LXC when I was uh, at Erlang Solutions and also started doing projects in LXC and learn a bit about uh, Phoenix and stuff. Um, and I, yeah, I love pink. And as you can see, pink cats, everything. Uh, I also, also love drawing. Like sometimes I have like, you know, a surge of like, creative moment, I put everything on Twitter, like my drawings, and then like silence because I procrastinate and watch cat videos on YouTube. <laughs> but let's talk about, you know, actual topic, learning about supervisor. Um, so the inspiration of this talk was beginning of this year, I got a chance to give a talk in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, uh, about like kind of talking about uh, advertising Erlang LXC functional programming. And I kind of want to show them the power of like supervisor, you know, with how a supervisor managed the process, work process, and then restarting with the strategy you can help like restart the process. You know, you don't have to automatically, so you don't have to crash the whole system. And I was kind of thinking like, how do I visually show to people that that not really know about Erlang and LXC. Like, if they, I'm, I mean, if you know a bit, you can show the code, you can show, like, you know, in the terminal what is going on. But for people who have not, like, know about it, like, how can you show? So, and because I've been working with Phoenix Live View, so it's an, kind of an obvious choice for me, at least. Uh, so, this is what I had in Vietnam. Uh, basically, uh, I have a kind of a module, like an example OTP module, like Gen Server or Gen uh, State, mach State Machine, and you kind of spawn the chai, and then um, and then you can like click on button and kill, and then you can show them like, oh, if you kill this, is you know it got responded with a new pit, uh, and then I thought like. You know, it's just kind of fun to also show to you guys, but then I, I have to like, yeah, I have to make something, you know, cooler because this is a bit, you know, in, in, beginner. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's because I, it's just one component, one view, like everything I just paste in one li live.ex page. And uh, the form got restarted when, like, with the live refresh, is <laughs> sometimes the form got restarted when you're clicking and suddenly, you know, it's, it's got restarted to the default state. Uh, and it's, it's only show, like, all, only the, the worker process is running in the, the kind of state of it, uh, but nothing else. Like, I want to also show the supervision tree, like, observer wannabe, I guess. So. I was, you know, with, with this talk, I, I submit this and I was like brewing over like, how do I do better, think better? Uh, so I, I used Tailwind like with the newer uh, Phoenix uh, Live View version, this Tailwind. Uh, so I, I tried that for styling because, well, I, I know HTML and CSS, but like basic and, and you know, you don't, Without without the knowledge of that, like, you know, the page look kind of like that. <laughs> uh, and and using components so I can like you can hide I can hide and show uh, different views uh, in the same page. A uh, couple of refactorings will make the code a bit better. And uh, super like 
what I could do was a supervision tree view kind of thing. Uh, well, it's it's still in you know I still it's more like a playground for me. So I I I, I test by clicking buttons. So there was no test in the module, no documentation. You know, it's it was more a playground. But there's a source code. Um, I put it here, and then there was in in the end slide. So if you don't have and catch it here, there will be another slide. So let's see what it can do. Uh, where? Okay, wait. Where's my? There we go. Escape. Here. I hope this is big enough. Can you see the letters? Good. So. Here's this workers, here are the other example workers. Now there's nothing running uh, as, as an example worker, so there's nothing there. Uh, but can click on the supervision tree view. There's still a lot of things already going on uh, with, with a Phoenix application. And you can see um, the worker, the supervisors are in black. Maybe I should make it larger. Supervisors are in black and the workers running workers processes are in, in green. I have to say, it. this one I did um, using um, like a recursive function and kind of like a raw HTML instead of a .hex file because I want to loop inside to the uh, child workers. It was almost impossible to get this green because Tailwind purged like the .hex file and not the .ex file. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to like put green somewhere else, like just add a hack so, so the tailwind can purge the CSS <laughs> and, and get some green. But what we can do is we can create some processes. Uh, let's do one for one, maybe a permanent. Let's have the restart and maybe five chai process. Uh, and the module here is just some example uh, couches. When I click on the list module, it's gonna just change the state and just keep counting up like one by one. Uh, I press start and we get five new workers. And if now we close this view, we go to list workers, you can see them running and you kill one, that one got restarted. You brutally kill them. Okay, uh, then this one got restarted. And now, if we go back here, and I want to create a supervisor under a supervisor, maybe one for all, still permanent, no restart. Uh, Max restart if I don't put any, this is gonna be zero. And I start, then it's gonna create a chai process under another one. And then, you know, and then you kill them, and they all got restart because it's one for all. So that's that is how that is what I have. So you know, um, like so that is what I have as like you know my play playground. But I thought you know what what I can what I can ask people like what I can show people, but then what can they do with it, right? Because, you know, it's, it's my own project, but like, what can you do with it? And, and I think um, for a lot of people that maybe coming from background other than Erlang, you can just click around and understand what like, you know, like you, you can get the project and compile and just click around seeing what supervisor can do and what com the combination will like. You will see what happened to all the processes. Um, and you know, you can go somewhere else showing the power soup of like Erlang, Elixir, you know, for people that don't know much about the code, but, you, but they can see like what the processes can do. Or if you are, you know, you know about Erlang, you know about supervisor, you know about live view, make your own version and make the cooler version of this. And yeah, I, I, I just hope this talk will inspire you to experiment with live view with Erlang and yeah, have fun. So that's it and thank you for listening. So that's, yeah. I, I hope I'm not too quick, so, but I'm also hungry for lunch, so. <laughs> thank you for this. And if there are any questions, I can be the runner. There is one. Hmm? 
Yes. So how long did it take you to make this uh, little thing? Right. Uh, for the one, like for the demo, when I well, show in Vietnam, I think like uh, half a work day, around four hours. And I mean, given that I already had the background in Erlang and working with Phoenix, like <laughs> I kind of have um, some a little bit already know a bit go around. Uh, yeah. Right. One more. Thank you, Fong, for a great talk. Thank you. Uh, maybe a, a partly a question, partly a comment. Uh, I think for some of the old timers like myself who haven't done Phoenix Live View, mm -hmm. and maybe we know about supervisors and stuff, we can learn about uh, Phoenix Live View from, from your code and see how in easy and simple it is. I mean, it's the most loved web framework in, in, uh, in the... Uh, um, well, the, 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 the community in general, not only in the Beam community, but, but overall in Stack Overflow's uh, yearly uh, uh, survey, it was the most loved framework. So maybe that's a comment. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that? How hard is Phoenix Live View? Yeah, I think um, for me it was, I, I really like it. I think it was really easy to start. I think like at the beginning when I didn't know anything about Phoenix or like before I started doing anything that Phoenix related, it was quite difficult to know where to start. But um, I think there was one kind of during the summer that I was like between project and then I was helping Oleg with the, his Crawly UI and like kind of dipping toe into he has already the project in, in Phoenix and then he wanted to transfer it to Live View and we were like quite kind of doing that. And it actually make it easier to get into Live View to like going from some something already there and try to make it a live view uh, at least for me than like start thing from like very beginning to and, and learn live view like that. Thank you. Yes, there is time for one more question. There is another question. Do you have any uh, future extensions to this? Uh, no, not not really. <laughs> not yet, I guess. <laughs> uh, maybe you can try to extend it by sending messages, I guess. Mm. And then, yeah. I don't know, there's right. some graphical interface. True. The node gets bigger, I don't know. True, yeah. Process, I guess, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, there is. <laughs> One more. Have you looked at the live dashboard that Phoenix gives you and maybe like extending that for like the whole community to use? That would be a good idea. No, I actually haven't. I heard about it and I, I heard I, I, when I was in the talk in Vietnam as well, someone also mentioned that and then like it looks really cool, but I haven't really dipped my toe into it. But that sounds like a cool suggestion. Thank you. Okay, it looks like there are no more questions, then I guess it's time for lunch for real this time. <laughs> Another round of applause for Fong.